now we move to the next problem the borough hotels guest days of occupancy and custodial supplies expense over the last seven months were as follows now using the high low method what is the estimated monthly fixed costs for custodial supplies as mentioned how do we compute for high low method we first compute for the variable cost which is cost at the highest activity so highest activity cost minus lowest activity cost over highest activity minus lowest activity now we get the highest activity here what is the highest activity remember that we are considering the highest activity and not the highest cost so the highest activity here is for july which is 120,000. we have 135,000 pesos minus the cost at the lowest activity which is march 75,000 over highest activity of 120,000 minus 40,000 now we compute for that we have 135,000 minus 75,000 so 60,000 over 120,000 minus 40,000 we have 80,000 so moving forward 60,000 divided by 80,000 we have a variable cost per unit of 0.75 now we can solve for the fixed cost how we use the y is equal to a plus bx formula for either the highest or the lowest activity levels let's try for the lowest activity level we have 75,000 is equal to a plus 0.75 what is the x 40,000 you will get so 0.75 times 40,000 30,000 and then we will transfer that there so 75,000 minus 30,000 is equal to a so 75,000 minus 30,000 you will get 45,000 as your fixed cost what if we use the highest activity level will it yield the same answer it should so 135 thousand is equal to a plus 0.75 multiplied by 120,000 we will get so 120,000 multiplied by 0.75 90,000 we will transfer that there so 135,000 minus 90,000 is equal to a which is also 45,000 what if we use the other items in the observation well, what if we use april may or june or august or september it will not yield the same answer why if we will plot that example this is the this is the forty thousand activity level and then seventy five thousand cost y x then we will plot the other items then this is the highest activity level what we do in high-low method is we will only connect the lowest and the highest activity level. That is, that is already our equation. Where in regression analysis considers all these factors. This is also the scatter graph method. So for example, you will draw, uh, you will draw a graph, y and then x axis, and then we will plot the line, the items. And then when you see a pattern occurring, you would draw a line on the prominent pattern. Not exactly on the highest and the lowest activity levels, okay? Now, the question continues. So our formula would be y is equal to 45,000 plus 0.75x. <clears throat> 
Now, using the high-low method in calculating the cost formula for custodial supplies, what amount of expense would you expect to be incurred at an occupancy level of 100,000 guests? Now, we will just substitute x with 100,000. So, y is equal to 45,000 plus 0.75 multiplied by 110,000. You will get... So, 0.75 times 110,000, 82,500 plus 45,000, 127,500 pesos. That is for the occupancy level of 110,000 guests. So, now we continue with the next problem. So the next problem is a ha is a learning curve problem. Soft Inc. has a target total labor cost of 3,600 pesos for the first hour, four batches of a product. Labor is paid 10, 10 pesos an hour. If Soft expects an 80% learning curve, how many hours should the first batch take? So for learning curve, this, ex this is expressed in such a way that... Uh, Learning is exponential. So, but it reaches a certain amount of uh, exhaustion. You will not learn on a piece by piece basis. You will be slower at the start, but your progress would be lower as you go along the as you go along the uh, the curve. So, for example, for the first unit that you would produce, so you would be right here, and then your progress slowly turns into up to such point that it will plateau so that's why it's called a curve because it is curved when you draw it in a graph so how do you solve for this actually it is solved this way so you would compute you would indicate the batches so in here, the batch would be multiplied by 2. So, for the first batch would be first batch, then 2 batches, 4 batches, 8 batches, and then multiplied by 2, 16 batches, then 32, 64, and so on. So, that is how we compute for each level in here. So, the next item would be the average, the average... Uh, hours per batch so that is the next line that we will solve here that would be uh, for example you have a hundred here if your learning curve is is at is at 80 percent let's say you would multiply that by 80 percent for the first hour so remember that this is the average hours per batch on the said activity level so that would carry on up to the next level so as we go lower the the average hour for the earlier batch multiplied by the uh, multiplied by the learning curve of 80 percent now the total hours spent on this as of this level would be the Average hours per batch multiplied by the number of batches. So if you will take note here, how many incremental batches did we make from, from level 1 to level 2? We have an incremental of 1 batch. So the incremental hours for that would be how many hours did we need to produce the second batch? That would be 60 hours. How about the third and fourth batches so since from the second to the third level we have already produced two batches two additional batches we have an incremental hour of so the total hours minus the total hours for the le second level 96 96 hours for third and fourth batches so what an average the third and fourth batches took how many hours to make 48 hours per batch at an average for the third and fourth batches 
So that is how we compute for learning curve. So let's now go back to the problem. Soft Inc. has a target total labor cost of 36 for the first four batches. So that is already the total, total cost. If labor is paid 10 pesos per hour, how many hours would that be? 36 divided by 10, 360 for the total hours for four batches. If soft expects an 80% learning curve, how many hours should the first batch take? So how many hours did, at an average, this four batches took? 360 divided by 4. Now we have to work our way upward. So since uh, from 2 to 4, from level 2 to the level 3, uh, we will multiply 80% to arrive with the average hours per batch for the batch level of 4. We would reverse that by dividing 80% with the average hours per batch at the batch level 4. Then we will do the same thing to arrive with the average hours per batch at the first batch that was made. So the answer is 140.63 hours for the first batch. So the second batch took how long to make? So there we go. It took 2 to 5 minus 140.63, 84.83 hours. So that is how we compute for learning curve. Now, we move with the, uh, this next problem is also a learning curve problem. Moss Point Manufacturing recently completed and sold an order of 50 units that had cost as shown below. The company has now been requested to prepare a bid for 150 units of the same product. If an 80% learning curve is applicable, Moss Point's total cost on this order will be estimated at... So we still go at that same scenario, batch, average, hours, then total hours, then we have incremental hours. So that we can compute for this. Now, again, batch level will be 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. But for this, we will only use up to batch level of 4. Why? Per batch, if we will consider this problem, per batch has 50 units. So per batch, 50 units. That is how we consider this problem. So now we need to produce another 150 units so we need to achieve up to batch level of 4 which is uh, 4 times 50 200 but we have already produced 50 units so less the 50 units 150 additional units so we will see at the given that the hours for the first batch is at 1000 so in that case we need to consider the learning curve of 80%. So, 1,000 times 0.8. Then, we will consider 800 times 0.8 as well, 640. So, the total hours for the batch level of 4 is 640 multiplied by 4 to 560. We have already incurred 1,000. So, the incremental hours for the three batches would be 1,560 hours. Now, we will use this item in computation of the cost of the order. So we have direct materials. So direct materials for the three batches would be 1,500 times 3. Direct labor. Since uh, direct labor is not affected by it's not affected by the number of hours incurred we will not consider uh, directly direct materials for direct materials for the learning curve however direct labor would be 8.5 multiplied by 1560 
that is your direct labor cost and your variable overhead cost would be 4 multiplied by 1560. Now, fixed overhead would be 10% of the total of all variable costs times 0.1. There you go. So, this is your total cost of the order. There you go. That is the answer for this problem. So, uh, stay tuned for other sample problems that we have so that uh, so that we can discuss further items in here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. So this would be our discussion for module for cost estimation.